when the trial was offered, Dr. Plemek said to me, if this doesn't work, we're going to find something that does. We're not going to stop. We're all in it together, and I think it is our responsibility to solve this problem. How are you feeling? I'm okay. doing fine. Absolutely. In order for us to be able to help these patients with these really intractable, difficult to treat tumors, we can't use the same old strategy. And if you can take a chance, that's when you make really, I think, important findings that are unexpected. So I think the biggest challenge right now is trying to identify which patients will respond to these therapies because only a fraction of the patients will respond. That's the next question that, that the world needs us to answer. One of the first immunotherapy protocols was made at Vox Chase. The history has been here. Uh, the commitment has been here. I think it was probably six months into it, Dr. Plemick had done a repeat CAT scan and she came in and she said, they're melting, the tumors are melting. I went from having 100 sites, within a year they were completely dissolved. And since that time, my CAT scans have remained clear. I feel better now than I have probably in 10, 15 years. We know a lot about the immune system. We don't know everything because it's a really complicated beast. We've been trying this for 20 or 30 years to try to manipulate the immune system. And now we have reagents that are really able to make that difference turn the immune system back on because it's being suppressed by the tumor. We're at the beginning of changing the whole face of cancer to make everybody's cancer chronic, not terminal. I'd like to be able to tell to a lung cancer patient with metastatic disease, you can live with your cancer like you live with your diabetes or your hypertension or whatever else that you might have. My desire and the desire of every researcher at Fox Chase is to be able to offer hope to anybody who walks through this, uh, the doors of this place, irrespective of the diagnosis, and the immune system offers that hope. It'd be wonderful to meet them and thank them firsthand, it really would, and to shake their hand and say, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. Keep going forward because the change is phenomenal.